We are surrounded. We are plagued. We are inundated with photographic depictions of Homo sapiens all over the globe as they grin gormlessly whilst smiling vacuously at themselves on the screen of their own smartphones. Little snapshots of a solitary moment where the truth of what the Homo sapien really is was outed in a rather comical fashion for the potting ape that stands smirking with their camera phone held in the palm of their hand is joyfully looking at the false reality that they like to think that they are, their mirror image presented on the smartphone screen, not a true depiction of their being, but rather a reversed image that the ape deludedly thinks of as being a true reflection. But what is right side for the ape is left side for the selfie and vice versa. The ape stands smiling at the false image that is smiling back at them, and then they click share to send the false image out into the world of smiling apes online. Smiling apes, smiling at a false version of themselves, smiling because there is a false ape smiling back at them, and it is a false ape that somehow transcends the agony of their reality for that mere moment. At that moment, the false grin is somehow adequate compensation for the ape's suffering, and so the ape must send the image out to the masses, to say look at me. I smile. This is me smiling in a world that makes me feel sad inside. This is me winning, except it is not them. It is an illusory archetype of that decrepit creature that stalks us all, the false self, a false self that flamboyantly dances in our minds eye whilst our real suffering selves move towards our final agony. And what will we have to look back upon as we rot away in old people's homes, but memories in our deteriorating brains of these images of our false selves grinning back at us smiling at them for betraying who we really are? Will it be worth it? <laughs>